first of all, how stupid are some people? Some people are stupid. I'm so tired right now, and no, I am not stained. I just know I don't look like I have any eyes on this video. So, um, I'm, I do read the comments on my videos every now and then. And whenever it's slightly negative, I go look at the person's page. And once again, I truly believe there's a campaign. They're flagging me now, I'm believing. Because they're going to my videos and they're commenting on videos I've done a long time ago. And some of these comments are like I'm saying racist things or whatever. But if you look at the body of work, I'm far from a racist. If anything, I'm a realist. There's people at the top and the bottom of us are squeezing us. And there's blacks that are fucked up just as well as there are whites fucked up. And yeah. So I commented on this Joe Horn video a while back. And I did another video about it. And they're like, I'm surprised and appalled that you're getting away with saying the things that you're saying. Blah, blah, yakety smackety. And I checked, it, I checked out their little page. And once again, they're linked to somebody we had drama with in the past. There's an influx of these people um, commenting in, on videos in a manner to where it would lead me to believe that there are some group or entity or body out there trying their best to put the hacks on my damn ride. But before I be making a eulogy video for the real AIX, please. Like, I've been encouraging people to download my videos now as much as possible since I hit the 500 mark. I'm on buy, I'm on buy, buy, borrowed time. Once you are, quote me if you want to, of color and or controversial, <clears throat> this happens. You get around 500 videos and the boogaboos come out and if you step on somebody's toes or you say something that makes sense and someone else gets scared they come after you after you get so many videos and I've been noticing a group of people are popping back up so I'm not gonna dwell on it and say anybody's names but I truly believe they're trying to get me yanks you guys and it's funny somebody said the other day I look like a Mexican. Gangbanger. Does it scare people for a black man to appear Hispanic? I might be able to fit in with the Mexicans when you try to fucking round us up. That scares people. But there are so many people out there of all different shades that love me. I wouldn't have to disguise myself to fit in when you start rounding us up. So, that's why I don't like to read comments on some of the videos. Because it makes me think differently. And I hate when I'm knocked off my groove and it's not fair because you know you can call me all kind of names and hate on me I don't care some of that hatred hatred shit feels like a direct threat and people fail to understand that when we're talking to millions upon millions of people and I know you look at your shit like man dude you haven't had one million hits ever I'm talking to millions and millions of people and I don't know how many hits you get when people watch your video from other websites when other people download your videos and upload them on other websites look for yourself on other websites before you say you ain't talking to millions upon millions of people. So, um, we talk to a lot of fanatical people in this so-called business of YouTube. We talk to people 
who are frightened because we can speak. We talk to people who are frightened because we cannot look how they expect us to look instantly. He done changed his whole race. And I can talk like this and walk through society as a Cuban, as a Cuban, I'm from Cuba. And I can look and I can pass for something different. I can pass for something different. Why can I pass for something different? Because I'm just like them. I can go put on a jacket and some slacks and speak just like this throughout the whole entire conversation. And then will you think I'm a different person then? A better man? More educated? More thought provocative? I can hold my face a certain manner. You think I'm a crazy? Like, what? I can look at you and give you the coldest stare. Show you how you make me feel. Or I can just say fuck it and be myself and let the chips fall where they may. And let you know, man, these people out here trying to bump me off YouTube, then fine. He ain't on YouTube no more. He's dead. Life is more than sitting in front of the computer with a webcam and telling people the truth or how you feel or what I may think. When you have an opinion and you believe, you know what? I think I can make a difference by giving my opinion. No matter what color you are, no matter who you are, hook up your web camera and tell your story. Because in the future, these stories that we tell on YouTube may be the only stories, the only record. They may be the only thing that shows the new world what the old world order used to be. We may be the final voice of the 25th century. 21st, 22nd, 20. We're on 20-something anyway. I don't know! But I'm trying to tell you the truth. So, I'm so tired. I'm not going to read no more of this sh bullshit. I have cut back on my cussing. And for the last time, those of you out there who hate me, who hate on me, and who dislike me, I am no different than you, and I have no more than you have. An opinion, an opinion from one man's perspective. And if you are upset because people agree with me, then understand this, they have opinions. And that's all we are, a group of opinions that may disagree with each other at some times or agree with each other at most of the time. There's tolerance in my world for everybody except you, your kind, and your belief system. I am tired of people telling people how people should be based on how they are. I don't tell people how they should be. I don't tell people how they shouldn't be. I tell you that you're okay in your skin with me as long as you agree with me and as long as I agree with you. When we disagree, we agree to debate that and talk about that like true civilized human beings. We may not agree in the end, but what we do agree on is more than what we disagree on. And there's the connection and fulfillment of a justice body of people who tolerate and respect each other. And that's all I've got is room to tolerate and respect. You've been too.